I'm Dominic Stevens. This week we've released an update to the outlook for the Canterbury rebuild which is available on our website. We're assuming that the Canterbury rebuild will amount to around $35 billion. That's smaller than the government's $40 billion estimate because we fear that rising costs and stretched budgets will cause some projects to be cancelled. Now that's, uh, that's still huge in the context of the New Zealand economy and it's going to be well into next decade before all of this work is complete. However, if we think about the monthly pace of construction work in Canterbury, we think we're actually very close to reaching a peak. On the residential front, for example, small repairs are 95% complete. The EQR program is already starting to wind down. Large repairs and new builds are less advanced than that, but they are moving forward. And what that's doing is actually addressing the desperate shortage of housing that existed in Canterbury uh, a couple of years ago. And again, what that means is that demand to get new building done rapidly is just not quite as frantic as it was a year or two ago. Meanwhile, the supply side is very, very constrained. Uh, building costs and wages have risen. The unemployment rate is 3.5%. And I think the idea of further acceleration in the pace of construction work is becoming quite unfeasible. So look, the, uh, the pace of residential construction work in Canterbury is very close to a peak. Uh, Non-residential work, on the other hand, does have a year or two of further acceleration ahead of it. When we put everything together though, we, we will probably reach a peak in the pace of construction activity during 2016. During 2017 and 18, we'll see the monthly pace of construction work in Canterbury actually starting to peel off, although of course there will be a long tail to the rebuild. Now when the Canterbury rebuild was accelerating rapidly over 2013 and 14, there was a major positive impact on the rate of GDP growth in New Zealand. I think we're going to see the flip side of that as the pace of construction activity winds down in Canterbury over the second half of this decade. We are bracing for a significant slowdown in the pace of New Zealand's GDP growth over 2017 and 18 as a consequence. Talk to you next week.